Hello everyone. We just passed the 5,000 subscribers and I want to thank each one of you for making it happen. Now, you've run into something special and it's not a hot new video or meme. If scrolling on your phone ever makes you tired, if you wonder why you can't just ignore the stress or wish to worry less about the tiny stuff, you've found your spot. A long time ago, well before our lives were dominated by digital beeps and caffeine jolts, there existed some clear-headed thinkers, the Stoics. They crafted a way of life that's surprisingly applicable even as we navigate through our world of smartphones and endless to-do lists. I'm about to guide you through nine powerful Stoic principles that could very well turn out to be the peacekeepers in our modern lives. And if you're eager to keep the wisdom coming, smash that bell and subscribe. The worst that can happen, you become a bit more enlightened. I challenge you, actually, I double dare you to give this a go. Welcome to the Stoic space, where ancient logic meets modern day hustle, aiming to teach us the elegance of staying calm. Take charge of what you can, release what you can't. Now, think about a rainy Tuesday. You've prepared an excellent coffee, and just as you're about to enjoy it, your dog tips it over. You might have gotten angry in the past, blaming your dog or even bad luck. But consider this stoic idea from Seneca. We suffer more often in thought than in reality. Stuff happens, coffee spills, dogs do silly things. What we can manage is how we react. So, rather than expect a bad day, why not just smile and make a new cup coffee? Life's full of surprises, but how we respond to them is up to us. So when your internet cuts out during an important call or your food isn't hot, remember, it's not the situation, but how we see it that really matters. Value this moment. Marcus Aurelius used to say, don't stress about what's coming, focus on today and the future will fall into place. Nowadays, with our phones pinging non-stop and our minds racing as fast as our Wi-Fi, what do we actually overlook? The present. Think back to when you were at the park but really thinking about work the next day or at dinner while mentally stuck on something you wish you'd done differently. The stoic lesson here is clear. Cherish today, this very second. Don't throw it away by stressing over what's been or what will be. Truly being present means more than just observing, it means really living. Forget the mistakes of the past and the worries for the future. After all, happiness is found in the small, everyday experiences we weave together. Embrace change as part of life. Ever notice how the seasons switch without fuss? The cold of winter makes way for spring's flowers. Yet when we encounter changes in our lives, like a career move or the end of a relationship, we struggle against them. Epictetus once said, It's your reaction to events, not the events themselves, that counts. Life moves and shifts like a river, and fighting that current can wear you out. Learning to move with it, that's where true freedom lies. Life is about growing and changing. Just like Rome wasn't built overnight, you're also a work in progress, a living piece of art. Every shift, every new direction, is another stroke on your life's painting. So, when life throws you a curveball, just think of it as adding to your own grand picture. Stop relying on likes and comments for approval. Nowadays, we're all too caught up in getting approval through likes, shares and comments. Epictetus once said, we are not disturbed by events themselves, but by the views we take of them. It's odd, isn't it, how we let small symbols on our screens affect how we feel. Stoicism teaches us to look within for our value. Don't let your self-esteem be tied to what happens online. Let it be about what you stand for, what you do, and who you are. Next time your social media doesn't light up as you hoped, or someone leaves a negative remark, Remember, your value isn't determined by others' opinions. You are the one who defines your worth. Understand that life is full of ups and downs. It hurts to lose things we hold dear, whether it's something small like a beloved sweater 
or something big like a person we love. Marcus Aurelius said, Loss is just another word for change, and change is the joy of nature. Life has its rhythms and reasons. Trees lose their leaves, but they grow back. In the same way, we go through endings and fresh starts, each one teaching us and helping us grow. Instead of holding on to the past, Stoicism teaches us to embrace the constant flow of life. It's about enjoying life to the fullest, loving with all our hearts, and learning to let go without regret. Just like every day ends with a sunset, it also promises a new dawn. Find strength in tough situations. Everyone runs into tough times, whether it's a tough boss, a mountain of bills, or a train that's constantly late. Whining is easy, wishing for an easier life is natural. But Seneca said, troubles fortify the mind just as effort fortifies the body. Treat life's tough moments like a workout for your inner strength. When you run into a roadblock, don't just ask why it happened to you, ask what you can learn from it. Each challenge is an opportunity to grow. Change your viewpoint and you change the game. Stoics of today would probably say, challenge accepted. Develop inner abundance. In a world filled with flashy social media and displays of wealth, we often mistake happiness for how much we own. Seneca pointed out, the poor person isn't the one who has little, but the one who desires more. The real riches lie in feeling content, having rich experiences, and making lasting memories. Stoicism teaches us to appreciate fine things, but not to be tied down by the desire for them. Ultimately, the experiences we create mean more than the things we buy. Embrace what life brings. Epictetus once said, Rather than wanting things to happen as you wish, wish for them to happen as they do. Life is a mix of what we work for and what the world throws at us. There will be times when, no matter how hard we try, things won't go our way. Instead of getting hung up on our disappointments, Stoicism teaches us to accept what comes. The best stories often come from the surprises life hands us. Give back to others. Seneca said, We are part of a shared existence. Stoicism teaches that improving the world isn't only about ourselves, but about lifting each other up. When we help someone, we're not just making their life better, we're giving our own lives more purpose. Every kind deed, big or small, makes a ripple in the world. Life is about more than just doing well by ourselves, it's about raising others up with us. Marcus Aurelius once said, the quality of your thoughts determines the happiness of your life, Marcus Aurelius reminded us. In our fast-paced lives, it's important to stop and reflect every now and then. Self-reflection is like a mirror reflecting our innermost selves. By taking time for introspection, we can notice our behavior patterns, straighten our paths, and gain fresh insights. Treat it like a frequent life refresh. Assess your actions, acknowledge your missteps, and recognize your triumphs. Knowing yourself sets the foundation for lasting joy. These nine life tips are not about hiding your feelings or staying distant. They're for building toughness, living in the moment, and having a meaningful, rich life. Friends online, as we wrap up this journey through Stoicism's sacred wisdom, it's clear how these old teachings fit perfectly with our fast-paced life today. It's amazing how some truths never get old, right? Now, here's a fun task for you. In the comments, Tell me which Stoic advice you liked best. Did Seneca make you think, or did Marcus Aurelius seem like a new friend? Drop your thoughts below so we can all learn together. Just a second, before you go and apply all this Stoic philosophy, I'd appreciate a small gesture. If you gained any wisdom, a spark of understanding, or simply enjoyed our discussion, I'd be grateful if you subscribed, liked this video, and turned on notifications. It's not about chasing likes or counts, but for us to keep sharing and growing together. Life's a trip with its own set of tests and wonders.
Life is full of twists and lessons, but with a bit of stoic thinking, it turns into an exciting ride. Here's to learning to let things slide and living with purpose and zest. Until we meet again online, stay curious and keep stoicism in your heart. Bye for now.